Good afternoon, Chef Bradley, and welcome to the Gift and Home Channel. Thank you very much. We're here at the Temporaries at the Dallas World Market mm -hmm. Center for the January show. And you have a wonderful product called the Chef Bradley Barbecue Sauces. Yes. And you are a trained chef. Yes, ma'am. And you also have an unusual day job when you're not making barbecue sauces. Well, my, my day gig, my real job, I work as a chef at Harris Methodist Hospital uh, here in the Metroplex in, in Bedford area. And I'm one of the, the chefs uh, that uh, helps uh, with the dietitians to do the healthy foods for both the patients and the employees at the hospital. Well, and that's a very key job. And that led to some other things that you got interested in doing, didn't it? Yes, ma'am. Um, specifically with the sauces, um, just being in the health industry, I know how many people are watching the diet, want to be low carb. And with the diabetic epidemic we have these days, you know, there's over 20 million that have the disease. I started experimenting uh, to try to come up with a barbecue sauce that was tasty and low carb and good for you. And I have three barbecue sauces and one ketchup. And uh, the low carb lean mean sauce and the lean mean ketchup are diabetic safe, as you could say, and actually are better as far as the recommendations for the American Diabetes Association on their website. So we have exceeded what we wanted to do. Well, barbecue sauce and barbecue is, is very key to many people's diets. Everyone loves right. it. And with 20 million Americans out there with diabetes today, we all want to enjoy a barbecue sauce, and right. you found a way to do it. Now, on the way to creating this barbecue sauce, you had some friends and family who really became very involved yeah. in what you were right. doing. Now, I understand your friends did something unusual with your barbecue sauce. Well, there's one guy in particular. Um, you know, I had the sauces with me, and this was a sweet zing, uh, more specific. And he asked me one time when we were out at a, to see a little uh, music venue, he said, where's your sauce? And I said, what do you mean? He said, you don't have me in your pickup. And I said, no. And he said, you need to start carrying it because we use it, we like it, and we've actually entered it in some contests and done very well. So that was unbeknownst to me about that. And so I started thinking, well, maybe I have something here if my friends who have been doing all this uh, smoking and barbecue and cooking many more years than me are doing well. I thought I would just see what happens. And so here we are. Well, I understand they did better than well with your sauces. I think they won some awards on but most well, to you, right? Well, uh, <laughs> that's what one of the guys said. I don't really haven't seen the award or anything like that, but he was just very adamant that I needed to go to the next step. Well, you've been in business for six months. This is a new business to right. you. What was it in getting started with your business that you found the easiest to do in getting started? Uh, just the encouragement from family and friends, and more specific, the people that I would uh, go to some of the music festivals I go to, and there's the, all this barbecue everywhere, and they love it, and they were encouraging, and they were actually, you know, just uh, wanting me to do it. And so that was the easiest part, was having a nice support group. And then, there's also when you're into a new business and you're in the food business and you started this basically in your kitchen. Right. What was the other piece that might have been <laughs> harder for you to do? Well, you know, I guess you would think that if you do something with a few gallons and you have your ingredients and it works fine, that you could just increase that times two, times three, times four, which I've done, and it would be fine. And that's not the case. And what happens is when you go out and you're trying to work with a co-packer and increase many, many gallons the flavor profiles get uh, messed up and you got to basically start over. And so that's what I did and it was uh, frustrating but rewarding to know that we could take what was from the kitchen to where we are now. Well, you've got a great product out there and I understand you also have a website that people can contact you on? Yes. And what is the website it's, uh, name? www.chefbradley.net and they can find the product there. Find the product and email me and um, we can just keep a dialogue and just work together on hopefully making a healthy product be beneficial to those that need it. Absolutely. Well, you found a great niche market. Thank I think you. you found a great way to help many of us, uh, myself included, in trying to watch our diet and being uh, having diabetes. So we appreciate your efforts. Okay, and I want to thank you for being with the Gifton Home okay. Channel today. All right. Thank you very much.